Yeah, right, lads, it's Dad Dad Toyota. Today we're back with another player review, and this time it isn't an icon moment. It's a what if card. It's Rafinha. He got released. He's a right mid SBC card. He's four star, three star, five foot nine, high medium, and he's left foot. He's got 94 pace, 84 shooting, 85 passing, and 87 dribbling with 78 physical, which isn't too bad. These cards do get upgraded. Uh, 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, 91 attacking positioning with 81 finishing, 90 shot power, 83 long shots, 81 volleys and 82 penalties not bad in the shooting department 86 vision 87 crossing 83 free kick accuracy 85 short passing 76 long passing and 93 curve is what we're going to be looking at he's got 91 agility 84 balance 87 reactions 85 ball control 89 dribbling and 84 composure so dribbling looks very nice physical stats he's got the 81 jumping with the 91 stamina so he hopefully will be running all game with 81 aggression and 70 strength so not too bad in the uh physical stats either 62 interceptions which is decent you know it's not bad for a right winger player traits is flair so obviously we're going to be taking some finesses 93 curve hopefully you know he can still score them finesses even without the finesse shot trait that is what i'd say this card is lacking you know the traits obviously you know some people would say oh four star weak foot would have been nice but hey we can't ask for everything uh the spc is not the cheapest um you know it's I think it's coming in at a few hundred K. Like, it's, it's not too bad of a value considering, you know, he's Premier League, he's uh, Brazilian, and he's a right winger, which is not many right wingers this year uh, that have had many promo cards. Um, but before we get into the review, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new around here and you want to hit that sub button, it'd be much, much appreciated. You know, we've just hit 500 subscribers. Uh, but hey, let's get into this review. So there's the team we're going to be playing. It's a nice team, you know, very, very good team. You know, he's got Mendy at centre back. Scary, scary. Looks like he might be moving into the five back, but uh, we'll see how this game goes. Hopefully, we can get the win, and hopefully, Rafinha can have some contributions. Vidic wins the ball. Rafinha's going to try and find Ronaldo. He's going to play a one. Ribery goes out wide. Rafinha's carried on making the run. We're going to see if we can find him inside. One, two, Ronaldo. Rafinha, can he finish it? He doesn't finish it first time, but he does get the rebound. He played that little one-two there with Ronaldo. Obviously, you know, he dummied the first run. Let us play it back. And uh, he did stay in a good position there to get a rebound. Uh, he probably should have scored the first chance, eh? but we'll take a rebound, none of the less. Plays a one-two with Ribery. Ribery gets taken out. We do get a foul, though, thanks to uh, Rafinha with his quick little one-two. We're going to see if we can create something from the free kick. Still got the ball. Ah, uh, it does go back to him. Managed to get it back from Trent. Trent who plays it through. Ronaldo. Uh, playing a 1-2 with Ribery. Ribery tries to open up some space. Rafinha's running through. See if we can get past the defender. Using that pace. Couldn't quite get through. Rafinha making a good run forward there. Just trying to open some space. Rafinha goes for the dink and he puts it over. I just try and do a little finish there. Uh, obviously, I went for the dink originally. Uh, and it seemed like it went for another dink. Uh, I wasn't too impressed with that. I think it was basically an open net. He should have finished it. Uh, we're going to see what his movement's like there. He has gone offside in a pretty easy... Uh, pretty easy... So Rafinha's out to the to the right, which I don't like, you know. He needs to be holding that uh, position where we put him. We've obviously been moving him around uh, at the moment. He is up top. Definitely doesn't seem like striker is his suited position. Um, doesn't seem to actually stay where the, you know, the striker should stay in that center forward role. Ribery manages to play a really nice ball there on the outside of his boot. He's pushed out wide. Seeing what we can do. He's managed to get past his man. And again, got to take it onto that left. He doesn't manage to finish it. Uh, his finishing's really let him down so far. Uh, same with his positioning. Obviously, I managed to uh, dribble past him there using the aggression and the dribbling. Uh, we're going to play that one-two there. Can he get it back? Ronaldo is fouled. And we just managed to lose another attack. This guy's a very, very good opponent. But uh, I feel like we definitely could have been in the game a bit more. Right, boys, so there is the Rafinha review. I've had to go and get a concept. My audio corrupted. We'll just ignore it. 
But he did go and score two goals in his first game. Obviously, we are going to try a new style of review where we play one game. You know, we stress test him and just see, you know, it's like a first glance review. Let me know how you feel. You know, if you want me to keep doing these, you know, we'll keep mixing it up where we play a few games or we just play one game depending on the player and depending on the SBC or objective card. But like I said, he scored two goals in his first game. We played him right mid. We played him cam. We played him striker. Uh, obviously, he scored a worldie. You know, that, that second goal he scored was a finesse into that top left corner. Uh, if I had to say some standout stats, I'd say it's definitely, you know, the fact he's got decent aggression. He tries to win the ball back. Um, his weaker foot did feel like a freestyle weak foot. You know, you get them cards where the freestyle weak foot sometimes is actually better than it says it is. But Rafinha on his right foot does not seem like he can do the job. Uh, obviously, we played with the finishers chem style on him. Um, maybe you want to try something else. He didn't feel... 94 pace i'll be completely honest uh, and his dribbling didn't feel crazy it felt good but just didn't feel crazy uh so you know maybe you want to try like a, a hunter you know maybe boosting that pace will help um and then obviously it also boosts that finish but if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like comment down below who i should review next from the what if promo and if you are new around here and want to hit that sub button it'd be much much appreciated and i'll see you boys in the next video